Hey everybody, it's Kristen. So it's Topic Tuesday, and this is the first video that I am filming with the background that you guys saw that I got. Um, hopefully I uploaded that video um, at Hobby Lobby, and I know that it looks exactly like Sam Sherman's, and I think somebody else who I don't watch, but I've heard somebody else mentioned that uses the background like this. But um, I'm hoping that it does better as far as showing you guys color, and I think it, my videos always kind of seem to have a orangish yellow hue, and I think it was because all of the wood furniture behind me was maybe making it look like that. So this actually already looks a little bit better, like it looks a little more true to color. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, you can be honest if you hate it. <laughs> That's fine, let me know. I just was hoping to get things a little more true to color for you guys. Um, okay, and also the first video with my new hair. Um, it's really short, but I think that I like it. I'm pretty sure I like it. But today is only day one of me, you know, doing it. I don't know. Behind my ear, in front of my ear. I don't know. It looks a little flat here and a little... Ugh! Anyway. There you go. So today's topic, as promised, is the Inglot palette that I have. Now there's no Inglot anywhere near me. I know you can order it online, but I have a hard time telling colors online. Um, so I waited, a friend of mine that lives in California, I went and visited her in May. Excuse me, and she, um, there's a mall near her, she lives in Orange County. So I was able to go to an Inglot there. So this is the palette that I have. So I have the 10 pan palette. I'm pretty sure this was $50 with the shadows in it, if I remember correctly. And I think, I don't think, I had heard the prices were going to go up, but I don't think they have yet. I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure this was $50. So I'm going to show you the colors that I have and swatch them for you, of course. Um, so this is $351, and that is a matte, a lot like brulee. That's a really heavy swatch, but... Um, Nice and smooth. I'm sure you can't see that, but a little bit. And then the next one over, it says, on the back of it, it said, I was able to kind of pound these all out so I could show you. I did minimal damage. Pretty good. Um, this is AMC Shine 09. It's this one. It's just a nice, warm, bronzy, champagne-y kind of color. Focus, please, camera. Right there. Really pretty. Really nice and smooth. And then this next one over is 407 Pearl. And that, the word that, that comes before or after the number describes the finish. I'm sure that was obvious, but just in case. That's that one. This just has a little more coral to it. Not quite as much sheen as the AMC Shine. And then the next one over is DS461. That's a really heavy swatch. It's a really pretty um, taupe, brown, like a brown kind of taupe with some definite sparkle and shimmer in it. There we go. See the shimmer in that? I get a little bit of fallout with that color, but the color is so pretty it's worth it. And <laughs> in my opinion. And then the last one is 422 Pearl, right there. I definitely liked the pearl finish when I went in and was picking them out. I think I have one, two, three, four, five. So half of them have a pearl finish. And that's 422. And that one, it look it doesn't have a sh uh, sh shimmer at all to it. It's the the pearl finish. It just has a really pretty finish. It's not even really a sheen. It's just a very pretty finish, almost a matte finish. But I don't want to say matte finish isn't pretty, but it's prettier than <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright, so 
So we're going to clean off and do round two here. Okay, so then um, I kind of went with, aside from the one green one that I just fell in love with and makes no sense, the bottom ones here, <laughs> these are the other ones, um, kind of had a purple or pinky hue to them. So the first one is 352, and this is one of my favorite matte highlighters. So it's, it's a lot like the original one, and this, again, is a very heavy swatch, but I want you to be able to see. It blends out very nicely. And that's, like I said, 352 matte. Just so pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Um, the next one is 397 Pearl, and that's this one. So same color family, a little bit darker. Pulls in a little more of the pink, and it's definitely a pink champagne. And I've used this one as a highlighter before, too, like on my face. The next one, and this color is really pretty. It's 419 Pearl. It's this olive khaki green one here in the middle. Oh, isn't that pretty? I don't wear this palette enough. Look at that. Gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Just my own little makeup world here, everyone. <laughs> the next one, oops, I show you before. This is the one I showed you and I stuck my finger in it. I was doing, showing my favorite eyeshadows. And that's 49, no, 423 Pearl. Right there. Ugh, I love this color. There, boy, it's slow with the focus today. It's so pretty. Maybe it has something to do with the new background. And then, I just love how I have a conversation with myself while I'm talking to you. And the last one is 378 Matte, right here. It's a really good color for deepening up um, when you're doing something that has a little purple hue to it. A little extra there. Just a very creamy matte. I think I hate worse than a matte that A isn't pigmented and B won't blend at all. So that is it. That Those are all the colors that I have. Um, on my Harry and Mayan Glove palettes. I would like to get another one, but I'm just not confident enough ordering online. Um, so the next time I'm near an Inglot store, I absolutely will be picking up some more. So, um, yeah. So that might be my shortest topic Tuesday yet. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Next time, I think I mentioned this in another video, next week I'm going to do um, how I clean my makeup brushes. So that will be fun. Um, I know that I kind of do the... I kind of have two different ways and I've learned on YouTube. So I will just kind of take the tips and tricks that I've learned and share them with you guys. Um, on my face today, in case anybody is interested, I'm going to scooch up a little bit. Um, I have, actually I just used a little con concealer. I, I'm trying the Sheer Cover Concealer um, on a few areas. And then I used my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It's Sunday, so I didn't want to do full on. And mine's in medium. And on my cheeks, I didn't do any bronzer today. I probably look pale. <laughs> but on my cheeks, I used the 12 hour the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour. This one is an Adored. You know, I have a bunch of these now. I could swat, I could do a Topic Tuesday swat with swatches of these that I have. I think I maybe have 10. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that. Eight or 10. If you guys are interested in that, I know lots of people have done that, but if you're interested in that, let me know below. And then today I used a cream, one of my Tarte well, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Cream Eyeshadows. And this one's in Shimmering Plum. So I use that all over my lid. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. I have a little swatch left on my hand, but it's really pretty. What am I gonna say? It's really ugly. <laughs> well, I might if I didn't like it. Um, so I use that, and then I softened, I actually put it, applied it with my finger, softened it out. Can you tell I'm not used to <laughs> Applied it um, with my finger, softened it out with my Real Techniques 
brush, not that one. This one, it's actually it's softer than it looks, right? It has more give than it looks. This one is the base shadow brush, but I just softened out the edge with that. Then I used my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, crease Brush, and I used, I'll actually get it and show you. I used um, Max Sketch, which is this one, in my crease. And then just uh, with my Duo, the one of the two of my Essence of Beauty brushes, I put a little Shadowy Lady to darken the crease. And I used um, this brush that came with that, with this Tarte business. Just run a little under my eye, and then I set that Although you don't need to, but I did. I set it with um, Sketch as well. Okay, that was probably boring because I can't, couldn't spit it out of my mouth. Um, and then the, the mascara that I'm using this week, I just started today because yesterday I told I four false lashes. Um, it's the Lash Fusion, Fusion XL. Hello. Would you like to read it the right way? So this is the one that I'm trialing this week. I'm not sure what I think yet. Too soon to tell. Okay, so I hope that you guys are having a great day and a great Tuesday, and I'm going to record another video in the same outfit in the same spot right after this, so I apologize in advance for that. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!